Hi everyone, welcome back to Bromberg News. I can't believe it's already mid-March and the temperatures are finally rising. Right now, my bird feeders are being overrun by red poles. This is the first time ever for me. I hope they will stick around for a few weeks. Even before we had kids, my husband and I used to play lots of board games. So now we have tons of them. But this one I am really excited about, especially this time of the year when the weather is so iffy. One day it's snowstorms, the other day it's thaws. Anyway, this game is called Wingspan. It was designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. She collected tons of data from eBird when working on this board game. The goal of the game is to attract as many bird species as you can. Stonemeyer Games presents Wingspan by designer Elizabeth Hargrave. This competitive, card-driven, engine-building game plays one to five players in 45 to 60 minutes. Players are bird enthusiasts seeking to collect the best birds to enhance their aviary. Wingspan includes 170 unique illustrated bird cards, each of which contributes to your engine similarly to the cards in Terraforming Mars. Each habitat represents a different type of action, and each action grows more powerful as birds flock to it. The actions in each habitat are boosted even more when you take them, thanks to ongoing bird abilities. The game was released earlier this year, and it was quickly sold out. It will be back in stock at the end of this month, so check it out. Every spring, Cheryl has been putting out bird baths for her birds, but now they're selling their house and she's afraid that new owners might not do that and her birds will suffer. Hi, Cheryl. I always find it amazing how putting out water for drinking and bathing attracts the birds to one's yard. Almost all birds enjoy a good bath. Putting out a bird bath not only costs pennies, but it can provide hours of entertainment watching them bathe. I'm not convinced, though, that the birds in your yard really anticipate you putting out the baths each spring. All birds know where they can find resources in the form of food, water, cover, and nesting places. Their very lives depend on it. In other words, you shouldn't worry about the birds becoming used to your water baths each spring. If the baths suddenly disappear because you've sold your house and the new owners aren't interested in birds, those birds will simply go to another place for their feeding and bathing. It's likely that by the time you see this video, your house will hopefully have been sold. Perhaps you were able to convince the new owners how much you enjoyed feeding and watering the birds to the point where they stepped into your shoes. I also hope that your new place, wherever that may be, allows you the opportunity to resume enjoying the birds. A few years ago, we learned that some of the North American wines contain glyphosate. So I decided to switch to organic wines. And as a result, I found some beautiful, delicious wines from all over the world. Well, I'm not the only one. As the popularity of organic wines grows, it's doing wonderful things to vineyards all over the world. You see, without the use of pesticides and herbicides, plants are starting to grow. Those plants attract insects, then the insects attract birds, which eat the insects, then the little birds attract larger birds like barn owls and raptors, and all of a sudden all those organic vineyards are not only producing delicious wines, they have become self-sustaining ecosystems. <music> In Japan, the rock ptarmigan is designated as a special natural monument, but it is extinct in most parts of Japan, including the central Japanese Alps in the Nagana prefecture. At least this is what was considered until last summer when a climber found a lonely female living there. Uh, rock ptarmigans haven't been seen there since 1969, so how this female survived is a great mystery to everyone. She also built herself a cozy nest and laid six eggs, but of course with no male around, she won't be able to fertilize them. Luckily, there is a colony of ptarmigans in the northern part of Japan, and researchers have already collected six fertilized eggs, and they're planning on exchanging them with the ones in the nest. This is just the first step, but researchers are hoping to bring back the population of ptarmigans all over Japan, including the central Japanese Alps. 
The Ministry of Environment in Seoul, Korea is implementing laws that will require all new construction to conform with regulations that will reduce bird collisions. So all new buildings will have to be equipped with anti-collision glass both for windows and transparent walls and all the buildings will have to be equipped with special tape that will reduce bird collisions. The ministry has estimated that there are over 8 million bird collisions a year, which is still a lot less than here in Canada and US. So maybe it's time for us to act too. Well, that was interesting to see how birds interacted with buildings. We even got pictures from India. So let's check out the top five. And the third place goes to Cindy Stroud. Congratulations, Cindy. The second place is Robert L. Congratulations, Robert. And the grand prize winner is Phi Rust. Congratulations, Phi. Well, I hope with all the finch-eruptions that we've been having all winter long, you managed to take some wonderful pictures of finches because our next photo contest is finches. Good luck, everyone. Well, this is all we have for you on this episode. I hope you like playing board games. If you do, check out Wingspan. And if you like drinking wine, try drinking some organic wines. Your head won't hurt as much.